Hello again, my name is Ed Price and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my creative process. Um, I'm a painter by trade and here is one of my paintings. This is uh, from a photograph that I took at an animal reserve in um, Montana. Um, I usually try uh, to find something that inspires me. What was really interesting about this one was as if the animal was coming through these huge boulders and it was all a, a boulder field everywhere around it. And it was such like massive feet um, walking on moss. It was just an absolutely, it was extremely wet that day, so it was really kind of fun to get this one. Um, I thought I liked the way the animal is looking. He's looking away from you, the inspiration of his eyes. I like something about eyes that um, attract people. They bring it to you. I usually work with acrylics, and this one is on canvas. Um, I start with a really basic drawing, and then I use as much color as possible to block in colors, such as the lights, the highlights first, the really depth, dark persons, pieces in the back, shadows, and I work from the back of the painting going forward to give it as much depth as possible. I want this to be the focal point. These are the second points, third points, and then way in the back, if you look close, you can see way back where the boulder goes, where the light hits further into the back portions of it. Um, on the animal itself, what I do is I start with the really bold colors, big ones in the back portion of it, do the deep sections of it, and then I use smaller and smaller and smaller brushes to get as much detail as possible. Like you can see every single hair on the ear here, the very small whisker portions here, on the really big feet, how fluffy they are, the moss coming up through here, the highlights of those things. Um, I like something to speak to you. I like something that someone can look at it and get a general feeling of the animal itself. Thank you very much. Um, the second one we have here, this is from a trip that I took to the Amazon Basin. Um, this is obviously a red macaw. Very, very different from that one is bright colors. I faded the background out of this one almost completely just to show where light highlights are coming through the trees. Um, I wanted to show the gradations of colors on the feathers themselves, the highlights on the very tops, the dark underneath, the really vibrant blues, the really bright colors, and the way it's kind of looking at you at an angle, which I thought was really kind of fun also. Um, I travel a lot, and except for COVID, has destroyed that for a while. This one was um, in the Amazon, as I was saying, a great trip if you can get there. So this shows you one view, this shows you another view. I also do plants. Um, I try to do a variety of different things as much as I can. So thank you again for watching and listening.